nothing quite compares to the peace and calm that you feel as you go outside and look up to experience one of the most rewarding and simple things you can see in amateur astronomy, a meteor shower. The first big show of 2021 comes our way in the form of the Lyrids. And what better way to experience this meteor shower than for us all to go out and look up to see it shining down on our planet on Earth Day. In today's video, we're going to take a look at when and where you need to look to experience the peak of this shower. If you enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. But most importantly, let me know of the questions and experiences that you have with the Lyrids in the comment section below. Now let's get started by taking a look at some tips and techniques that'll help you out to maximize the number of meteors you're going to want to see for this year's show. The first tip I have for you for viewing meteor showers is to try to get to as dark of a sky as possible. Now I know that's difficult for a lot of us with how and where we live, but light pollution is not your friend for this event or really anything in amateur astronomy. The darker the skies are, the more faint meteors you'll be able to see, which will really push the count up throughout the evening and early morning. Second, I would encourage you to take a lounge chair or a blanket so that you can just be comfortable and relax as the meteor shower is going on. You're not going to want to use binoculars or a telescope. You're going to want to comfortably view as much of the sky as possible. Third, give yourself at least an hour's worth of time to go out and enjoy this show. Oftentimes I'll hear of people that go out for 10 or 15 minutes and complain about not being able to see many meteors. Sometimes these meteors come within a few minutes of each other, Sometimes it can be 5, 10, 15 minutes between one meteor and another. Regardless of the meteor shower, be it the Lyrids or any other throughout the year, give yourself at least an hour's worth of time to go out, knowing that the longer you wait and the higher the meteor shower gets into the nighttime sky, the more you'll be able to see. Now that we know some tips for viewing a meteor shower, Let's talk about specifically when and where you need to look to get the most out of the Lyrids this year. The peak of the shower for 2021 will be on the night of April 21st into the early morning of April 22nd, Earth Day. Begin your night by going outside around 11 p.m. on the night of the 21st and face towards the east. Look for the brightest star just over the horizon in this part of the sky. Vega. In between the Lyra and Hercules constellations is where the Lyrids will appear to be shooting from. The later you can stay up into the pre-dawn hours of April 22nd, the higher the meteor shower will rise into the night sky and the more meteors you will be able to see. This year's average is looking to be around 10 to 15 meteors per hour, which is a little less than normal but that's because the moon is going to be out for most of the night and it'll wash out some of the fainter meteors. If you're planning on getting out to observe the Lyrids, please let me know of any questions or experiences that you have seeing them in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for your continued support. As always, clear skies and a happy Earth Day from Late Night Astronomy.